Mr. Orange and Blue, aka Yuki Kamiya, strikes again with another top class Jujutsu Kaisen opening. Kamiya decided he will make the first OP of season 2 more blue and the second one more orange. If you missed his orange shades in the first OP of the season, then do not worry because the Shibuya Incident OP is almost full of it. Kamiya has already proven himself to be the best alternative to Shingo Yamashita for JJK openings because the way he directed the OPs for season 2 perfectly captures the tones of the arcs. This time with a very ominous looking orangey aesthetic and a lot of dark environment, he has perfectly captured the tone of the Shibuya Incident arc. The storyboard for the opening does follow the typical flow of Battle Shonen opening, but what makes this OP so interesting is how he presents the generic ideas. The character introductions look very dynamic with the camera angles, not to mention the blue orange shading on the characters as well, typical Yuki Kamiya. Uh, the presentation of Shibuya and some of the elements of the arc is presented in a very, well, aesthetically. <laughs> Please bear with me because I'm going to use this word a lot in this video. Mahito playfully dancing around and mercilessly killing all the civilians inside the train was so haunting. The framing for this sequence and the colors being very dark helped elevate the sequence a lot. We get to see a lot of character movements, characters being traumatized, crying, getting ready for do or die battles, etc. The Gojo and Ghetto split screen is reminiscent of the cut from the first OP of season 2. The Sukuna transition looks absolutely stunning, I'm not going to lie to you. Then with the beat drop of the song at the 50th second, we get our first action sequence of the opening. And it's the man himself, Keishiro Watanabe, with his extremely fluid action and effects animation. With the reddish compositing and the style of chaotic battle animation, it reminds me a lot of the Chainsaw Man vs Eternity Devil sequence done by Watanabe from episode 7 of Chainsaw Man. All the other shots look super aesthetic thanks to great storyboarding, compositing, and expressive character animation. The thing that was the most aesthetic of all in this OP was definitely the domain expansion hand signs. They look very Hiromatsu Shu inspired in my opinion. Overall, this OP is just perfect for the Shibuya Incident arc. I purposefully avoided mentioning some stuff because I didn't want to spoil you guys on a video of me breaking down the production quality of the OP. I wish I could have waited a bit longer before making this video because I wanted to credit each and every single animator's work on this opening but I'm very very busy so I had to make it now. Anyways, now that I have made the video, I'm looking forward to learning about which animators participated and what were their cuts. I'll keep you up to date on Twitter about this. Thanks for showing so much support on both Twitter. I mean, X and on YouTube. Stay safe, stay healthy, chrome out.